now joined by a special guest, Jordan Tomasi. Now she does so many things for us here at BCSN and BCAN. You've probably seen some of her witty tweets and fun gifs on our social media. Jordan, is it gifs or gifs? I never know. You know, it's the big debate. Um, <laughs> I like to say it's gif, like the peanut butter, but okay. you know, I mean, everyone says it differently, so whatever works. <laughs> and Jordan, you and the folks at BCAN have been working on a special staycation series just with the current situation of of travel restrictions and stuff like that. You're showcasing some of the things that we can do in our backyards. Yes, yeah, so 2020 obviously has been a wild ride to say the least. And a lot of vacations, a lot of plans have gotten postponed or canceled. So everyone at Beacon thought, what's a good way we can encourage everybody to explore their own city and act like tourists? So Beacon came up with the BCAN staycations and it's been such a hit from kayaking, local downtowns, you know, downtown Sylvania, downtown Perrysburg. We've been finding little gems that I didn't even know of and I'm a native here from Sylvania so it's been so much fun I recently covered uh, the Sylvania's farmers market and it's a little embarrassing Claire I've never been to a farmers market before it I was <laughs> that, but it looks like the stuff you got was so great everything looks so delicious and maybe it's because it's kind of around dinner time so I'm <laughs> no, getting hungry. hungry right now <laughs> <laughs> no it was absolutely wonderful and when I talked with Connie who's the marketing director with the Sylvania farmers market she really told us that this is all families here. It's a lot of family owned businesses. So when you buy that fresh corn, those fresh flowers, you're supporting their, ch their daughters, their grandsons to get that music lesson, to go to school. So it was just so encouraging to support local, obviously m now more than ever. And when we were there, you know, Tim McMahon helped me shoot it also from uh, BCAN's 41 Nosh. And we had to get some delicious snow cones and it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> you were talking about those snow cones during one of the breaks and I just cannot wait to go out and try one. When is their next farmer's market here in Sylvania? So Sylvania's market, uh, farmer's market is every Tuesday from 3 to 7 p.m. And not only do they have local vendors there, they also have live music occasionally. So it's the best time to have the perfect Tuesday night evening. You know, it might be a school night, a work evening, but there's no excuse. You can get out there and still have a great time with your friends and family. And Jordan, you mentioned it earlier, you are a Sylvania native, so I'm sure you've been at least dealing with the traffic, the usual traffic of Marathon Classic. Just what does it mean to you as a native of Sylvania to have the Marathon Classic here in town every year? You know, Claire, we were talking about it earlier, and it's just so kind of eerie with no fans here, no spectators. And so normally all this big crowd brings in so much money to Sylvania, and it means so much because all these local businesses are getting all that money, and it's such a boost in our economy here. And also also, even if there's no spectators this year, just having the tournament here is such an honor for Sylvania because it still brings in a lot of, you know, credibility and still money and puts Toledo and Sylvania on, you know, the map of everybody. So it's just such an honor to have it here every year. Now, Jordan, where can we find you on social media? Just obviously we can find you on the BCSN Sports and the BCAN Twitter accounts, Instagram accounts, all that. But you also do a little bit with Trendy and Toledo. So where can we find you online? We do. So my co-host host Ali and I, Ali Gray, who's also the co-host, or the host, I should say, of Arts Now. We have a show together called Trendy in Toledo, and it airs every, you know, now and then on BCAN, and we also have an Instagram that we like to keep up to date, and it's Trendy in Toledo. You can find us on there and just see all the cool activities, women empowerment that we're covering here, right here in Toledo. That's awesome, Jordan. Thank you so much for joining us today, and have a great rest of your week. Jordan actually recently got married, so she and her husband are having a little honeymoon <laughs> later this week, so safe travel to you, Jordan, and thanks Thank for you, coming Claire. out. Thank you.